Alright, pause this. Hey guys, it is Clara, and I hope I'm in focus. That seems to be how I introduce all my videos now, because I, I think I am, and then I'm not, and uh, that's life. So yeah. Um. Anyways, today I am doing a and a Back if you knock over this camera, I'm going to be uh, really mad. Yeah, so I asked on Instagram for people to ask questions. I actually really like Instagram questions. I think it's cool. And it gets more people to ask questions than if I were to tweet because I don't tweet. And if I were to ask on YouTube, don't knock it over because I don't, I don't do that ever. So yeah, I'm going to hop in. Um, uh, so let's hop in. So I'm not going to name anyone's name since most of the people are kind of like my friends and stuff. But uh, the first question is why are you so cool? I don't know. I'm really not. Um, when people say that, it, I'm not very cool. I'm very goofy and awkward and weird. Anyone would say that. Um, it might be my sneakers. My sneakers, I think, make me cooler than I am. Next question. How did you get into shooting, modeling, and videography? Um, I've always had like an affinity for cameras, whether it be being in front of the camera, being behind the camera, or just kind of helping out with the process is like a, from like a creative, um, I guess, design kind of position. But yeah, I mean, there are all these old videos of me as a kid where my dad's like videotaping and I'm always asking him if I can be in front of the camera to do a performance or if I can have the camera so I can go film. And I there's this one clip, which when I saw it, I got chills because it just explains how I feel now with cameras and I'm asking him like dad like why can't like why won't you let me use the camera he goes Clara you can't be behind the camera and in front of it and I just get this look of like why not and so I think that's kind of explains a lot of who I am today I mean I film a lot of stuff that I'm in and I film it myself but it's because I don't know, I really love being in front of the camera, but I also have such a, an eye for like how I want things to look, so I also like to film it. It'd be easier if I had help, obviously, because it's hard to film yourself, and you know, sometimes it is weird filming um, just me by myself, um, little creative videos and whatnot. But yeah, so I've always loved videography. Um, I'd always do it for class projects and birthday presents, etc. And then in high school when I kind of like started pushing away from sports. I was like, oh, I'm going to do video. So I took a film class and then in college, um, I thought I maybe wanted to major in that. I ended up minoring in it. But yeah, I have always loved film. Um, photography, I don't know. I don't get, I, I'm not a photographer. I can't take pictures to save my life. I'm taking classes. I think it's interesting, but I am not, it's not my um, strong suit. I love moving image because I can work with it and, you know, picture you have a second a moving image you have infinite amount of time and then modeling um, it's kind of the same thing I was always in people's projects just because I love being in front of cameras so people would ask me to be in projects and stuff and I'm really goofy when I'm with people which maybe makes them feel more comfortable shooting me it also means they get a lot more of like faces like this that they have to deal with but yeah so I kind of modeled um, just like not with an agency or anything but for fun in high school and then um, birth control and stuff I don't know I gained a little bit of weight so I didn't like being in front of the camera that much and then when I went to my freshman year of school I ended up losing a lot of weight partially because I was stressed out asking in my eye also because I just kind of took control of my health and was like okay partially because um, I didn't like where I was but mostly because I took control of my health and I realized if I put this food into my body this is what I'm getting um, this is the kind of exercise that's most effective and I kind of just started figuring out what worked for me um, I was like a job. I always considered pursuing was um, something in health and nutrition Which I obviously did not pursue, but yeah, I love I have so many books on um, Health and whatnot. So yeah, and then I got signed with my first agency, which didn't end up working out they were based um, not in my hometown and it just they had a couple people that they would give jobs to and then that was it um, 
And then I'm with my current agency, Linda Lehman, um, who I really like. And I haven't really poured a lot of effort into it as much as I should. I really mostly do it for fun. I've started sort of trying harder to get jobs. But I think it's really helped me um, in my role with Red Bull. And then I've been doing like brand ambassador kind of jobs where you work for a company for one night at events because I love people. And I love, I don't know, I love modeling and I will always love it. And if I could do it full time, I totally would. But, you know, it's few and far between. But yeah, so hopefully I answered that question. Oh gosh. If you were a pasta noodle, what shape would you be? I was going to say bow tie just because that sounds fun, but probably like a ramen. I don't know. Uh, the next question, did the lip tattoo hurt? Because I'm thinking of getting one. So you guys didn't know, I have some dollar bills up in my mouth and tattoos, I don't know, it's kind of hard for me to answer because I kind of like needles and that sounds weird but like I've never had issues getting shots or like tattoos or laser hair like lasers needles whatever it doesn't bother me I think it's more interesting and it's it's like I know going into it that it's not going to be like pleasant so then it, it doesn't bother me so I don't think it hurt um afterwards my mouth was a little uncomfortable because like you know you've just had the tattoo done so you don't want to be like messing with it because it can get infected so that kind of bothered me but for the most part no I didn't think it hurt um next question when are we working together on some weird comedy music video I'm so down I have a tendency to be bad at planning things if spur of the moment stuff is offered I'm always on board to do it and I say yes and then it's like the date comes up and I'm like ah this actually doesn't work so I'm getting better at planning but like I am I am down to do it all right, what's my next question? The tattoo, was it a pupper? So I'm actually in the process of getting a tattoo removed um, and it was a bull from Red Bull. And I love Red Bull, I still work for Red Bull. I, I loved that I got the tattoo, I don't regret it. However, it's in a place that I now realize is just not the greatest place for a tattoo. If I ever wanna get married, if I'm in shoots, I have quite a few, I have like this tattoo here, this tattoo, I have one here, one on my ankle, and then my lip one. Um, but they're all in places you don't necessarily notice. Like looking at me right here, you don't necessarily see it. Obviously, if I start moving my arms, you do. But this one, it's in everything. And I, in my pictures and stuff, a lot of times I use my, my hand or whatever. Um, and it's just not good to have in pictures. You can edit it out, but I don't want photographers to have to do that. And if I'm behind the camera or trying to work brand jobs, this kind of tattoo is just so noticeable, whereas these, if I'm wearing a long sleeve, you just don't notice. So I'm getting that removed, and it, yeah, so it was a Red Bull. I don't know what I do. Okay, if you could work with anyone on a shoot, who would it be? I mean, hmm, hmm. my friend Don Nixon, I just think is a really great photographer, so I'd love to shoot with him again. But I just think like Russell James or anyone who shot for Victoria's Secret models would just be fun because I just feel like they are really good at getting their models to kind of unleash so many different kinds of emotions, whether it be sensual or playful or serious. Like I just really love that and I think that would take um, my modeling to the next level. And that's like photographer. If I could like be on a shoot with anyone, um, I would love to shoot for Gucci. 100% like dream <laughs> never gonna happen but whatever what is your favorite part of your personality um my brother is gonna be like what are you doing he's coming in well I'll go ahead and answer I think my favorite part of my personality is the fact that I try really hard to make people feel included so it's like if someone is like standing by themselves or just like aren't really engaging I try to like include those people <coughs> sometimes I think I come across as a little flighty but at the end of the day like I really do love everyone and I just want everyone to be happy hey how was school you want to go get dinner or something what are you like shooting porno in here are you just going to be sitting there while I film now? 
Look, I just swam for two hours. Can you just let me chill, please? Okay, well, I'm going to be talking on camera, so you have to deal with that. I don't care. Um, but if you want to get something for dinner. Okay, so I'm going to keep going. My brother's sitting right there, so it's awkward, but whatever, it's fine. He's going to be making faces. Anyways, um, favorite part of my personality. Yeah, I think just trying to include people. Fun fact, in high school, I actually won um, best or superlative for having best personality, which I think now people might have been doing as a joke, because sometimes I am kind of awkward and I make people uncomfortable. But that's okay! I love people, so, you know, whatever. Um, who are your biggest style inspirations? Right now I'm really obsessed with um, Devin Lee Carlson. She is dating the lead singer of The Neighborhood. I just love her as a personality, and I just everything she dresses in I really like. And then Kendall Jenner, Selena Gomez, um, who else? Lana Del Rey, Bella Hadid. I think I'm more just like the people that wear the clothes rather than the clothes themselves. I think you can really pull off anything if you have a great smile to go along with it. But yeah, so those are people who I really look to for style inspo. What is your favorite part about your Physical appearance. I don't know. Probably my eyes. Smile. I don't know. I, I don't... Eh, that's a hard question. Let's see. Let's keep going. Oh my gosh, there's so many of these. What is your favorite thing about Tulsa? So Tulsa is where I live right now, if you guys didn't know that. And my favorite thing... Hmm... <laughs> I think would just be the community. I found that it's not too small, though sometimes it feels like it, but it's it's comforting. Like, I feel safe pretty much anywhere, um, and anymore there's a lot of cool stuff to do. You just kind of have to dig for it, so. Yeah. Are you and Jace dating? I don't know. Are we? Jace? Um, okay. What's your favorite smell? Anything, um, earthy, like, mountainy, I like the mountain smell. So, pine, I guess, maybe? How on the freaking earth to balance school, social life, and working out? Mainly working out. Whew, okay, so I'm done with school, thank goodness, because I couldn't do it anymore. And I've always been decent at balancing school and social life. For me, I just always put work first. If you get it done during the week, you don't have to worry about it on the weekend. So I would spend a lot of my time in between classes just working on homework. And I was better at it at the beginning of my collegiate career versus the end. But I found that if I just treat college like an eight day, like an eight hour work day, I could get so much done. So then at night I could relax a little bit because I, I like having the ability to go out if I want to. I didn't like feeling like I had to stay in. So whether that meant studying extra hard for a test or just getting stuff done ahead of time, that's kind of what I did. And then working out, I just found as many ways to incorporate exercise as I could. So I walked almost everywhere. Um, if I had time in between class and I didn't want to do work, I'd go on a walk. Yeah, I made sure I was getting at least like 10,000 steps in, like the Fitbit or whatever says. And just kind of putting it in, drinking water. If I'm drinking alcohol on the weekends, making sure I'm making better choices, getting enough sleep. Yeah, I mean, overall it's just... Whether you have to get up 30 minutes early or stay up 30 minutes later to fit it in, just fit it in. It'll be worth it. And the end. Um, when and where will we hang out? You tell me. Um, on an average day, how many pigeons do you think you could reasonably carry? I'm going to say 17. You should full-time model. If only. All right. What? How? Oh, wait. What? Bloop. <laughs> What's your favorite curse word? Prita, which is French. Uh -huh. What is your biggest inspiration in the way you make your videos? Um, I would say anything, I don't know, uh, moments. I am a dreamer, I'm visual. If I, I don't know, I imagine scenarios or moments or feelings in my head and then I like to put those on camera somehow. Even if it's just using a song to kind of supplement what I, I think of. I think music and then just feeling. That's just what I go off of. Becky, quiet! 
how did you get into modeling? Um, like I said, I kind of always would do like shoots and stuff for friends. And then the first agency I was with, I was actually approached um, by the woman who was kind of in charge of the agency because they had seen it like an Instagram video that I did. And then my second agency, I contacted and they already kind of knew me because I had talked to them a couple years before because um, I had thought about trying it out. But yeah, I mean, if you're wanting to get into it, my biggest thing is just like start working with freelance photographers. There's so many, not freelance, but there are so many um, up and coming photographers, especially in the Tulsa area that just want to shoot to build their portfolio. And it's a great way to build your own. So then when you go to an agency, if you really want to get signed, you can show them that you're already like, you're comfortable in front of the camera and yeah, that could be a great way to get your foot in the door. Otherwise just go to an agency and talk to them and be like, Hey, that's what I want to do. How do I do it? Uh, get being sponsored. How did you get sponsored by Red Bull? So I'm not actually sponsored by Red Bull. I get free Red Bull, but, shh, um, I worked for Red Bull at my university as a student brand manager. So basically it's a part of the collegiate, um, incentive I guess behind Red Bull and so I came up with weekly campus plans and found ways to build brand relevance and activate the can it was super fun super creative I met a ton of people got to be a part of really cool events and I got a lot of free Red Bull that I got to just give out to people I think that's one of my favorite things about Red Bull is in their like marketing they don't make you buy anything it's literally free they don't expect anything they just give it to you um, and Red Bull I just found it was just a cool company and it helped me build the authentic, authentic relationships across my campus. Let me think. I think this might be, that might have been the last question. Yeah. Cool. So that was the last question. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you want to see next. I'll talk to you later. Bye.